guys, Lisa here. Thanks for joining us in the kitchen today. I have the pleasure today of having my daughter Ashley here to help me, and we're going to show you some very simple ideas for the 4th of July Memorial Day uh, holidays where you would use red, white, and blue items. So we have uh, some hostess gift items, some home decor, some treats and snacks, just a little bit of everything. So we hope you'll find something that you can use. So let's get started. One of the very simple things that you can do if you're invited over somewhere for the 4th of July or uh, Memorial Day, a holiday of that nature, and you just want to take something, even though the hostess has said nothing, you don't need to bring anything, um, a great little thing that you can pick up at the last minute is just some blue, these are just little plastic bowls, and in them I have red and white mints. And a lot of times, you know, you might show up at an event and you might have two or three people show up with the same thing. This is typically not something that someone else is going to show up with, and it's a great thing for your guests to have. It's a very simple item. For the first item, we're going to show you how to display or an idea of how you can um, display your silverware if you're having a party. Okay, so we've got just some red, white, and blue flag napkins. I believe they were 16 count at uh, a dollar store. So one dollar, not a bad investment. I've got some red silverware, some blue, and I have some white. You can use all the same color. And we're just going to pop this off. And you can use the knife, the spoon, and the fork, or if you just want to do forks. For this one, I'm going to show you because it's much easier tying them using just one piece of silverware. So what we're going to start with is the, the, we want the blue up at the top. So you want to turn it over so the, when you fold it, you're going to get the blue and white stars. So we're going to start, let's fold this in just a hair because if you don't, you're going to end up with a lot of extra material that you're trying to find something to do with. Place your silverware in it, fold it over, gather it. And now, Ashley, if I could get you, I'm going to turn it back over and just kind of make sure that you've got your flag display or the this, this stars display so, so your guests can kind of see it. We're going to do some stripe it and some with the blue stars. So, Ashley, if you'll hold that for me. We're going to take just a piece of curling ribbon, come over the top. I hope you guys can see this. Curl it. I'm not going to get it too tight. I don't want it crimping. Make a little bow. Let's decrease the size of it a little bit. Okay, from this point, I'm going to take my scissors and just lightly pull so it just gives it a little curl in the curling ribbon itself. And you always want to work um, with the way that the ribbon is flowing, and I'll show you that next. So we have our fork in there. Then we can turn it around and very easily slip the spoon and a knife in. And it's much easier to do it this way rather than trying to keep to put all three pieces of silverware up and then tie around it. The silverware is not going to stay straight for you. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Okay, so that's one, and we're just going to stand that up in the basket. The spool, it automatically has a curl to it, so you want to make sure that when you take your scissors, you want to pull it from the underside that's already curling in. So we're just going to... So if it starts to straighten out on you and, and it doesn't look right, it's just because you've tried to curl it from the opposite end. So we're just going to keep working our way around until we have the basket full. And it makes a really nice way to display the silverware. And then you just tell them, I'm, you know, there's the silverware in the napkin. Here's an idea if you want to do a centerpiece. I am having a lot of guests that day for a cookout, and I, but I also want to have something for the evening. Um, just you know, in case some of the guests stay over and it starts getting a little bit darker. I have got three jars. 
These are some that I picked up for a dollar, and they have these little handles on them, but I thought they were cute, and I can use these for other things, Christmas and so forth. So what I want to do is make some candle holders. So I've taken some needle nose pliers, and I just bent the, the curve where it went into the hook back and just slid this piece off. So we've got stars on the jar. And we're using, it's called Art Time Tempera Paint. You can get it at uh, Joann's Hobby Lobby, any kind of just art paint that you can find. I'm gonna shake our paint to make sure it's mixed up good. And remove our cap so you can use it either way. So, got it good and stirred up. Now, you don't want to brush this on hard because what you're going to do is get paint up under the stars, and you don't want to do that. You, so you just kind of want to go easy and dab it over. And you may have to do two coats if you want it really dark. Okay, this one is going to be a fruit tray. I'm using a rectangle pan. Once again, you can find it at the dollar store. And I'm using some vanilla candy coating. I'm going to melt this chocolate and cover some pretzels. If you don't want to melt the chocolate and do that, you can actually use um, marshmallows. So I'm going to take, this is just uh, baking chocolate. Sometimes you'll see it as bark. And what I'm going to do is just go through and cut these squares. Come over here so you can see. Do you look behind there and make sure that they can see this, please? Yeah. And you may want to have you two of these packages on hand. Just because you don't want to run out. So I'm going to just break up the blocks to start. Okay, so I've got my chocolate melted. It did take one minute. I did it for 30 seconds, stirred it, and another 30 seconds. Okay, I'm just going to take a piece of aluminum foil, probably about 12 inches long. I want it a little on the stiff side. And what I want to do is fold a section where I want the blue go. So I'm just going to... Actually, honey, just tell me if I get to a point and I'm moving sideways and you can't see what I'm doing. Okay. They're really benefit them if they can't see. So, I'm just going to fold this so it's a little bit stiffer. And I'm going to fold it. You may have to adjust it a few times to get it just right. And what you're trying to do is just create a guide. So you could actually pour the blueberries in and they stay where you're pouring them. And then once you get everything lined out, you can just pick this up and remove it. Okay, so what I do is I just pull up the little leaves on it. And for this one, I'm going to dip it the majority of the way. So I just want to roll it around in my chocolate. I'm going to let the excess fall off. And then at this point, I just kind of rake it on the bottom just to get some of the big stuff off. All right, let me go over this way and maybe it will be easier for you to see. So I've got my parchment paper down and I'm gonna take it and just sit it on there and let it dry. But I also wanna make some strawberry bombs. And to do that, I've lifted up the leaves and we're only gonna dip it halfway because we want red, white, and blue. You're going to leave the leaves on for right now, but we're going to take them off a little bit later. And set it on the tray. Okay, let's see if I can do it left-handed for you. Just dip. Let the excess fall off. And place it on your parchment. What I'm going to do with these strawberries is see if we can get some of the smaller ones. These work easier if you take a knife and just barely cut off one of the edges and what you're trying to do is just make a flat surface so you can lay the strawberry in the tray let's see i've got my little i love this tool um it's a like a pepper seed scraper i'm going to take the inside out cut me a little edge off and bam 
Okay, so that is our row of one row of strawberries. Next, we're going to do a row of pretzels. Now, if you don't want to do the chocolate, white chocolate dipped pretzels, you can do the marshmallows. Okay, so I'm just using their um, Snyder's pretzels. It's easier if you take these and you dip them twice. So you're gonna dip the, you're gonna dip it. Come back over here so you can see. So you're gonna dip it once and you want the excess to kind of fall off because you're gonna have a front and a back to these pretzels. So just kind of rub it down on the sides. Take the next one, make sure it's coated. I'm just leaving myself just enough room to hold the pretzel. Okay, we're gonna, and then we're gonna wipe off the excess. And through the magic of filming, I have more that are already dry. Yay! I need to place my guide for my blueberries in to get that to stand up. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my blueberries. They've been washed. So our flag fruit tray is done. Actually, it's really easy. I mean, you know, it's just a matter of melting the chocolate and dipping your pretzels. So let's move that out of the way. Okay, so for the next thing, I've got some blueberries that have been washed, and these are called blue uh, strawberry bombs. So what I've done is, remember, we coated uh, one half of the strawberry, and these are for me and my husband, so I am not wearing gloves. Um, if you're serving your guest, you may want to put on gloves, but it's just me and my husband, and my daughter will probably take some with her. So I've got my pepper, my seed remover, and I just took out the top of it. I'm going to take a toothpick, run it through two blueberries, and then into the top. So now I have a plate of strawberry bombs, and all they have to do is pick up the toothpick, and there you go. Okay, for cupcakes, there is such a wide variety and assortment of things that you can do. Um, we're going to just show you a few ideas. I, in one cup, I have some red hots, got some just red white flags, some blueberries, and some strawberries. And I've gotten a pastry bag, cut the tip off, and I inserted the top. And now what you want to do is you will need to close the bag up and just squeeze it to where there's no air left inside. Okay, Ashley is going to put some icing on our cupcakes for us, and we're going to just decorate a few of them and give you a couple of ideas. All right, so here we've just made an assortment of cupcakes. We've got some with blueberries and some strawberries. We've got some that with some little red hearts. This is a really great activity for the little ones to be able to help you in the kitchen with when you're cooking and knowing that it's a holiday and they can tell their friends that they help too. Okay, so we have your silverware and there's no cleanup after that. That's the good thing about a lot of these things that you can do around the holidays is when it's over, you don't have a whole lot to clean up because your guest ate it for you. So, just a little um, gift for the host home. Some peppermints, some cupcakes, some strawberry bombs, the flag, and your utensils. Okay, guys, I hope this helps, and until next time, be blessed.